you hit your head? <laughs> Did you like hit your head when you land on the snow? Yeah? You kind of went kaboom. <laughs> Does it hurt really bad? No. <laughs> Because why? I lost so high. It did. I hope you Yeah. <laughs> Are you hurt? Did you hit your head? She didn't really talk that much. She was just kind of laying there, just taking really deep breaths. She didn't really move that much. But then we asked um, for Ski Patrol to come because I was actually pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, I was worried about her. She lost a lot of confidence since it was pretty early in the season. It was like January, I think. She was really scared and didn't do any jumps for a while. Jilly, when you see these jumps, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? I really want to do them. And then she started to do small jumps and then work her way up to the bigger ones. Whoa, jeez. bigger version of its previous self and they built jump number five and jump number five was the most intimidating jump in the entire train park. The kicker was about six feet tall, the knuckle itself was 40 feet long and you needed a lot of speed to clear it and, and when Tilly Jane saw that thing in her mind she said I'm going to do that thing. I'm gonna do it before the season's over. Well, you win some and you learn some. The family's upset because I refuse to turn on the car, which wastes gas. They're saying they're cold. I don't believe them. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> it's obliterated that cold. What's the thought process? Stretching. The thought process is like she stayed home again. It's just weird that the, the wash dot doesn't say temporarily closed. The baby is a baby silk one. Ew. Like an egg. Oh. An egg Another defector. <laughs> Couldn't stand it. He knows that he's True. probably 20 minutes away. It might be like two hours and people are willing to wait that long. What's the, what's half the hour less, probably less. So half hour, probably less. More than likely less. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh yeah. Half hour less. Half hour.
All right, dude. Should I put on my goggles? No, I didn't have mine. Should I like hold my feet like this? It doesn't matter. Ivan, just go. Hello? Yeah. But we are in a fairly uh, precarious situation, so um, let me call you back in a few seconds, okay? No, yeah, he's fine. We just have to get we just, we just have to get to this one little spot. I'll call you right back and let you know everybody's fine. Okay? Okay. Bye. Okay, Eleanor. Do you think the children are in danger ever? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I do. They're just, they're very little, so e even a small avalanche can cause problems. You made it, Tilly. Almost. I bet it was. Then my board turned in my arm, so it was like we saw a snowboarding. But, uh, and I was on my stomach with my snowboard like oh. that, and I was sliding down on my stomach head first. How'd you stop? I rolled and hit a tree. <laughs> Did it hurt? Was it a small tree? Yeah. What's the worst part about this? Sliding down. <laughs> But is it fear or is it just tiring? It's scary. Scary. What's the best part about it? Um, hiking. You like hiking? You're just seeing a new place? Did you, you never even thought about it? What kept you going? Uh, to the top. It was just like a big you just wanted to get to the top. Help Eleanor. Get up there fast. Eleanor, can you breathe? I mean, I think 
you're concerned about their safety, but I think in general, your personality is that nothing will happen. What are you doing? She's fine, she can breathe. How you feel, Ellie Valley? You okay? Tree wells scare okay. me a lot. They're death traps. How did she fall, Noah? The idea of it was healthy. It turned out to be a little bit stressful. It's one of those things that's just like, it's meaningless and it's silly, and then before you know it, it turns into something because a few people care passionately about it. And those few people are my children, Eleanor foremost among them, but Ivan and Tilly Jane both wanted to win Ski Lagadad this year. Ski Lagadad is a basically a competition between the family to see who can get the most ski days. It's ski because it's a ski thing, and I think it's the I did I did a rod. The log is just how we log. Cool. Eleanor, she wanted to be the sole <laughs> record holder. And for a long time, it looked like she would be. Tilly is always making comments about how she was eight and she made the record at 36. Woohoo! We got 100. I got the record at seven. So that's the and so I just wanted to win and get the new record and keep it forever. Uh, near the end of the season, we got a powder day on a Monday, uh, which happened to be a flex day of mine. I had the day off from work. And then school and commitments had me stay home and so everyone else got those two days from that and overnighters. So she missed that day and Tilly Jane and Ivan did not. That created the four-way tie that stood Tilly, throughout Tilly the Ivan. season. Yes. What are you guys most excited about regarding this day of skiing? I'm excited for you to post the next ski vlog done. Why? What time with any more 51 days? 51 days. She had to do school. Sadly. And, but I kind of missed her. Not really. Yeah, I kind of missed her, but it was worth the risk. Uh, it was pretty sad. We all tied at 57 days. I really wish I could just pull ahead one more day. Ivan should be approaching any minute now. He's gonna ski the whole run backwards. A way to make this day fun after a glorious day yesterday. He's done pretty well. Uh, I think he's probably improved his backwards technique. <laughs> so, did you learn anything about going backwards? No. Nope. Not, you didn't learn anything? No. Nope. Tilly, what's going on in here right now? Uh, we're really cold. So we came into the bathrooms and the bathrooms are heated. 
I wonder why they do that. Cause this is We're at the train park at Stevens Pass and we're working on a new skill here. Board sliding! That's right, board sliding. And it takes a giant leap of faith because it goes against muscle memory. <laughs> and if you revert back to muscle memory, you'll end up on your ass, which I've already done once. You went for it. Did that hurt? Sure. But I'm going really slow, and I think we can we can accomplish this incrementally, just bit by bit.
Are you disappointed? No. You're not? I think it'll be fun jumping from patch to patch. I, I'll get good ollies by the end of the day. Because I'll have to jump over so much stuff. I just scram rocks. Bushes. Tree branches. Just the dirt. And more stuff. Ivan, did you see the sign? Yeah. What does it say? No Are you going to buy the sign? Nope. Yes. Yes. Say welcome to California. You know what I love about the last day of skiing at a ski area? Is there's all kinds of costumes. Yeah, me too. There's people like wearing butterflies. Like a monarch, a blue monarch. Uh yeah. Unicorn. You're you're a unicorn. I am, I am. Wow. Cannot be captured. However, I have been lost. Spider-Man. Are you an alligator or a crocodile? Oh, you're felons. <laughs> Both of you. What are you dressed up as? Godzilla. You're Godzilla. Take a knee for the Lord. <laughs> a skier? Oh, a deer. Will you put your deer on? Me? I am uh, ready for the beach. Ready for the beach. Yeah, what costume? Right now. A little bit of con, you know, Titans of the Universe. <laughs> Trying to rip it up. Yeah. You know, just last day, of the, last day of the season. Yeah. And even people dress up as ski patrollers. <laughs> Wait. Jump number two and number three. And, and those at the time were the biggest jumps. The, the kicker for number three was six and a half feet tall, and the knuckle was 30 feet long. And you needed a lot of speed to clear it. So it took a lot of confidence and a lot of technique to confront this thing. And Tilly Jane was just too scared to go off you know, the big jumps. I don't remember, I like closed my eyes and then I opened them again and Noah was coming through the gate. Uh, I thought she might have gotten knocked out because she wasn't really moving for a little while once, but I thought that she would probably be done with the big jumps for the rest of the season. And how did you feel afterwards? I was sad because I couldn't do the jumps anymore. I was too scared to do the jumps anymore. She would just kind of be on the sidelines watching, literally just watching as Noah and Ivan and Eleanor and I built confidence and developed more technique and became more consistent off the jumps that actually kept getting bigger and bigger as the snow kept falling throughout the season.
Kelly, when you see these jumps, what are you thinking? What are you feeling? I really want to do them. I think she felt a little bit like sad and left out while we were all doing the jumps. Well, after her fall, she got really unconfident, so she actually technically started all over. What's going on? Square zero. I can't do the jump anymore. Why not? Because I, I know. Is it your confidence or is it your technique? Do you think one is affecting the other? Yeah. Okay, well, how are we going to fix that? Maybe like an inch too short. But right, no, right here. I think that the extra length is going to keep you balanced more. Why? Wow. Oh, oh. That makes sense. I guess. Well, that's Tilly, yeah. what, do you, what did you think about today? Uh, it was great. How does it compare to other days that we've had up here? Your other 40, what, two, 41 days? Uh, it was probably my best train park day of the year. Yeah? Yeah, my favorite. And yeah. how do you feel about doing number two and three? Great. Yeah? Yeah. Did you ever feel like you shouldn't be doing it? No. Really? Is to do a what? The fifth jump. That's good. That, I think you would do it. Once you once you can do the fourth comfortably, not even comfortably. Yeah, comfortably. No, I didn't do. I did the fifth not comfortably. Well, that's that's not that's not a good idea. <laughs> I do every jump not comfortably. Again, that's not a good idea. Well, I'm never comfortable with jumps. I mean, I'm comfortable. Well, when you do a new jump, jump, you're obviously not going to be comfortable. Never going to be comfortable. Like, totally. Well, you just shouldn't be uncomfortable. I'm not. Number five was a massive step up, at least from our standards. Then jump number five was the most intimidating jump in the entire train park, the most intimidating of the seven. The knuckle itself was 40 feet long, the kicker was about six feet high, and you needed a lot of speed coming off of jump number four to clear that really intimidating knuckle. It's just different because you have to get the perfect amount of speed. Technically, how you know to get the right amount of speed is you go a little faster than you think. Do you think that Tilly Jane should try it? Not at first, but then at the end of the season, I thought that she would be able to maybe do it. I feel like she's ready for it. Yeah, that makes me nervous. Tilly makes me nervous. Why does Tilly make you nervous? I don't know. Cause she's Maybe because she shows she's nervous. After hearing your sca stories, I'm pretty scared. That scared you even more? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But 
I think I'll be more in control than you. Do you feel like you need to prove yourself to other people? Sometimes. Yeah. Do you think jump number five is about proving that you can do it too? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's a good reason to do it? No. Then do you think you should do it? Yeah. Why? Because I think it's fun to do jumps. Do you think that's a good reason to do it? Yeah. That's so right, silly. Awesome. First chair, last day, last chance. What are you thinking? Pretty nervous? Yeah. yeah. I think uh, I think the thing to do is just try to get yourself in the mind frame right now. Right at the beginning, and just start like, start thinking about it. Start just kind of checking speed right off the get go. Don't wait till the end. Yeah. Ivan, who are you aiming for? Eleanor, um, he said five dollars. You get. I think the thing, Tilly, is don't think about it like it's any different than any other jump. It's the same technique, um, get speed, and stay forward, just like Noah was saying. So how many speed checks do you want? You can just pause. Tilly, what are you doing? Journaling, journaling about the last day at Steve's Pass. What are you writing about? Uh, the last day at Steve's Pass. Yeah, but what about the last day? The main event that happened in my journal entry was when I did the fifth jump. Have you written about that yet? Yes. What does it say? Can you read it to me? I'm going to read it to you? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. <laughs> As I followed the train, my heart was pounding. 
One, two, three, four speed checks. Bend, pop, grab, bend, land, and perfect landing off the fourth jump. And for some reason, my instincts turned off from going over the knuckle to heading straight for the monster. I did the exact thing as I did off the fourth jump, but I was not as stable, like a tenth less stable. Everything went in slow-mo. I could see the ground below me. I felt amazing. I felt like a bird. I could see Papa watching me in, the, in my crazy outfit. I landed and I boarded right to Papa. Noah, Eleanor, and Ivan, and Sam. Everyone cheered for me. Noah said, yes, Tilly. I was so happy, going from a terrible fall to launching the biggest jump in the park. 